Even though this year has been a great one for phones, it could always get better. More flagships, next generation technology, display, resolution, power and screen size, the list goes on. Let's get into the details of the rumoured next generation of smartphones. The Google Pixel Fold Even though rumours about the Pixel Fold have been going on for quite some time, there hasn't been much news about a foldable phone from Google. So, here's what we know so far about the Google Pixel Fold and what the search giant has planned for foldable devices. A report from 9to5Google says that the Google Pixel Fold may be called the Pixel Notepad. According to the same report, Google has thought about other names such as Logbook, but we hope that one's out the race. Animations in Android 12L give us the best idea of how the Pixel Fold may look. This version of Android is made for tablets and foldable phones. There are abstract pictures of a foldable phone which could be based on the Pixel Fold, and if it is, we'll get a device that folds like a book and has a full display on the outside as well as a large display on the inside. Information about the display of the Pixel Fold has been leaked by one of the developers, and it looks like it's got the same specifications as Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 4. When opened, the foldable will be 123 by 148 mm and the same size with a 7.57 inch screen. The report also states that the inner screen has a resolution of 2208 by 1840. This is very close to the specifications, again, of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. This has a 7.6 inch screen on the inside. However, in terms of brightness, the screen could get as bright as 1200 nits at its brightest and 800 nits on average. The Huawei Mate X3 Huawei showed off the Mate X's two foldable phones in April, and now the company is reportedly making the Mate X3 its sixth foldable phone. Someone in China leaked important information about the company's upcoming foldable phone, including when it may come out. The source has said that Huawei plans to release two devices in December 2022. Some of these are the Huawei Mate X3 foldable phone and the FreeBuds 5 headphones that fit halfway in the ear. The rumour was that the Mate X3 would be less expensive as well. And at the same time, the device will be thinner and lighter. It will last longer and be less likely to break if it falls. The folding phone will have a new hinge, so the crease in the screen won't be visible. The OnePlus 11 Pro Based on what happened in the past, it seems likely that the OnePlus 11 Pro will be released worldwide in late March or early April of 2023. OnePlus's best phones usually come out first in China, and then in Europe. These are usually at the end of March, and then finally in the US a few days later in early April. If we base this on when the company has released new products in the past, the best guess we can make right now is that the OnePlus 11 Pro will be released around the world on March 31st, 2023. Leaked pictures of the OnePlus 11 Pro showed what it will look like in the middle of September. The phone will have a big, round 3-sensor camera module, and the rumours state that the camera island would be able to turn, but that seems very unlikely. The alert slider seems to be back, as we can see it to the left of the camera module. This is another design feature that stands out. Even though OnePlus fans were happy to have it, some of the company's most recent phones didn't, so it's nice to see it back, and it gives the phone an early OnePlus feel. On the front of the phone, the hole punch selfie camera is back, and it looks pretty much the same as it did on the OnePlus 10 Pro. The Samsung Galaxy S23 series. Since the Galaxy S22 came out in February, we could expect the Galaxy S23 to come out around the same time. The S21 line came out in January 2021, but Samsung needed space for the Galaxy S21 FE, so the S22 probably didn't come out until later. Samsung probably isn't working on a Galaxy S22 FE, so this may not change how the S23 is released. If you are looking for proof that the Galaxy S23 Plus will come out in February 2023, a battery for the phone that looks like an S23 Plus showed up for certification in early September. Since the timing is the same as when the S22 came out, it seems likely that the launch in February 2023 will go as planned. There is also a chance that Samsung may try to get the S23 out in the middle of January, 
Sources say that this would stop people getting new phones right after the new year that aren't made by Samsung. One slightly shaky rumour seems to back this up as well. According to that rumour, one Korean mobile carrier will start placing pre-orders in December. The iPhone 15 and 15 Pro Even though the iPhone 15 probably won't come out until September 2023, there have already been a lot of rumours and leaks about the next one. For instance, it looks like Apple will finally switch to charging with a USB-C and get rid of the lightning port, and a brand new model called the iPhone 15 Ultra could take the iPhone Pro line to the next level. This could include a design made from super durable titanium. It also looks like Apple will keep a big gap between the regular models and the Pro models. This could be only as the Pro models of the iPhone 15 are expected to get a new periscope zoom lens. This is the most likely early rumour about the iPhone 15, and in the past 10 years, Apple has only announced its new flagship phones outside of September once, in October 2020. This was because of a once-in-a-generation pandemic that forced people to order from home and messed up the technology supplies. And because of this, the iPhone 15 will likely come out in September 2023. The Google Pixel 7a the Google Pixel 6a was one of the best low-cost Android phones of 2022. This was because it had powerful hardware, great cameras, and a high-quality build. If you wanted a cheap phone with power that could compete with flagships, you couldn't go wrong with Google's latest phone, especially now that it's been out for a while and you can get it for a lot less. As you might expect, the Pixel 7a from next year will probably be based on the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro from this year. Google's most recent top-of-the-line devices are the best yet, so the next A-series could be a budget home run. So far, this is all we know about the Google Pixel 7a. We've heard rumours about an upcoming Pixel device with the codename Lynx, which now seems to be the Pixel 7a. Though early reports would say it was a high-end member of the Pixel 7 family, some important rumours that came out too early also added to the confusion. A tip from Digital Chat Station said that the Pixel 7a might have a ceramic body. This would make it the first Pixel device to do so. This would be a big improvement, and not just over the older A-series models, whose bodies were often made with plastic. The Pixel 7 and 7 Pro are not made from ceramic but shiny glass. There is a good reason to believe these rumours since Google confirmed at Made by Google 2022 that the Pixel tablet will have a neo-ceramic body. The Motorola Razr 2023 The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC-powered Motorola Razr 2022 just came out in China, and in the next few days, the phone is expected to hit the rest of the world. A new leak from the source suggests that the company, owned by Lenovo, would launch two more Motorola Razr models in 2023. These are known as Juno and Venus, and they could possibly be phones that fold in half. These phones are likely to come out after the Motorola Razr 2022, and online, the foldable specs with the codename Juno have been leaked. Even Blass, a well-known tipster, said that the Juno model expected to come out after the Motorola Razr 2022 may have a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC. He also thinks that the Juno model will have a screen that refreshes at 144Hz. However, he didn't give any details about the Venus foldable phone. Glass also recently hinted that the Motorola Razr 2022, which is currently only available in China, would soon be available everywhere. He did this by tweeting marketing images of the phone that showed text on the screen in English instead of Chinese. And that's it! So which of these phones are you eager to get your hands on? Do you think they'll meet their expectations? Do you reckon the rumours are true? let us know in the comments section below. And whilst you're there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.